Hi everybody! Today we're going to be doing a workout for developing a strong ballet back. This is a great workout to do before you take a ballet class or just at the end of one of your regular workouts just to focus on the entire back area and excellent for posture, excellent for engaging your core, excellent for opening up through the front and getting those back muscles nice and strong. All you're going to need is a band or you can grab a long tea towel and roll it up. So let's start standing up. Turn your legs out to second. We'll just start with a warm up, bringing the arms up to fifth. And two. And three. Big circle. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Reverse it. Up. Forward. Two. Three, four, easy neck and relax shoulders. Six, seven, eight. Great. Then keeping those legs nice and wide in that second position, we'll take the arms up to fifth and we'll hold the arms up in fifth when we grand plie. Up and up. Grand plie. Up and up. Down, down, up and up. Nice, big plie, stretch it, four more. Core is engaged, belly button to your back. Again, nice and long through your head and neck. One more. Good, now let's grab this band or whatever you have. Hold your arms about a little bit wider than your shoulders and we're gonna roll those shoulders back. You're going to pull the band apart so you have nice resistance without locking the elbows. And all you're gonna do is take a deep breath in, lifting the arms up overhead, and exhale, lowering. Inhale, up. So we're trying to get some shoulder mobility here. And when the arms go up, you're engaging your upper back muscles to keep the arms lifted over your head. Now think about your abdominal staying nice and pulled in. The ribs are in, the belly button is pulling to your back. Two more like this, we should start to feel those shoulders. And one more, big lift and lower. Good, relax, roll those shoulders out a few times. Very good. So part of having a strong ballet back and being able to really support your arms in those ballet positions is also creating that strength in the backs of your shoulders. So very important for that. Lift the arms up over your head. Pull that band nice and tightly. Now, getting a little bit of a neck stretch, you're gonna bend your elbows and tap the band to the space right between your shoulders. Press back up and again. Bend and tap, press back up. And see, I'm bringing my head forward as well. So we're getting a little head and neck movement, softening the back of the neck, lengthening it up. Four more. When you pull the elbows down, think of pulling the band a little bit more apart. Pull it more, stretch it up. Two more times, shoulders and backs working. Stretch it up, one more. Pull, stretch it up, and reach forward. Now, we're going to do the same, but we're gonna bring the band into the front. So this time through, let's also try to engage our lats, which are those muscles that run right down under your armpits. So you feel like you're really pulling your armpits down. We lift the band again up to the ceiling. This time, the band is taut. You're gonna lift your head, expand your chest, tap the sternum, press to center. Get that little squeeze apart and then up. Squeeze the band apart a little bit more. Stretch it up. Pull. Stretch it up. Good. Four more. Four. And nice strong lift. Three. Nice strong lift. Two more. Two. Lift. Holding those ribs and abdominals in. Lift. Very nice. So that's enough of all of that standing work. Let's place the band down and let's go down 
onto your mats. So just finding a tabletop position with your back as long as possible, shoulders over your wrists, knees under your hips. We're going to curl through the spine, really feel that rounding, rounding of the back, pulling in of the abdominals, and then go the other direction. Lift the tailbone, lift the top of the head. Just getting a little bit of movement through our backs. Curl, really also pull your ribs in and up, and then tailbone up, top of the head up, and again, curling, rounding, rounding everything, and nice big arch, pulling those shoulders away from your ears. One more time, curling, nice round movement, and then arching everything up. Great. Now, from here, we're gonna stay in that tabletop, and we're gonna focus on some ballet movements with one arm at a time. So let me show you face on here. We're going to extend that right arm forward into a ballet fifth. Now, we're not going to drop on that side, so we're going to keep nice and supported. You're pressing strongly through that other arm, and you're going to open to second. Second to fifth. Second to fifth. Hug the ribs in. Pull the belly up. Open to fifth. Four more. Overhead, and that shoulder is pulling away from your ear, two, more, one, more. Place that hand down, other arm opens up overhead to fifth. We go second to fifth. No rotation through the shoulders. Keep everything square. Keep the hips solidly over those knees. And we go four, and Three shoulders working as well. I feel it. Two. And one. And rest. Just sit back for a second. Release those shoulders with a few circles. Okay, now focusing on the lower back and down the back of the leg. We're going to go back into that tabletop. I know it's a lot of tabletop. We're going to extend the right leg back in parallel. So keep it in parallel. Hug your belly up. And we're going to lift for eight. Down, seven, down, six, and we're going to keep that pelvis very stable so we're not going to arch in the back. Just solid, nice and strong through the core. One more. Now turn your leg out, so now you're reaching to like a tendu derriere in arabesque. And two, but we're not going to let the hips rotate. Press evenly down through both hands. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Switch it right to the other side. Parallel. Here we go. Eight in parallel. Now the leg does not have to lift beyond that straight line from head to toes, okay? So it doesn't need to go extending too high. This is not about how high the leg can lift. This is about control through your pelvis, core, and shoulders. Now turn the leg out, and we go eight. Still thinking of keeping everything square. Belly buttons up. Long through your neck. Four. Nice turnout. Three. And two. And one. Woo! Okay, shake those wrists out, roll the shoulders out. We're gonna roll it all the way down onto our stomachs. You're gonna take the band with you for some additional upper back work. So, we lay it all the way down. Your legs are gonna be hip width apart and parallel. The band is gonna be stretching out in front of you, keeping the legs down. You're going to lift as you keep pulling the band and lower. Just four of these and lower. Feeling that chest open and lift. Working that upper back. One more up. Now we're going to add the legs and we're going to do eight. So upper body and lower body together. Pulling that band apart. Here we go. Eight. And down. Squeezing those legs out. 
reaching everything in a long line apart from each other. Arms and legs reach apart. We have four more, four. Keep pulling the band. Long, long neck. Last two, lift. Lower, last one, up. Lower, release that band. Bring the hands under your shoulders. Stretch that whole spine out. We're not quite done yet. We are going to do a little bit of articulation work up. So I want you to bring your legs more narrow together. If you can bring them all the way together, go for it. Our arms are gonna be in like a W shape. So not up here, but nice and bent. And we're going to ripple from the head, neck and chest, and then all the way up all that mobility through your back and then deep breath in and deep breath out to come all the way down. Inhale and exhale coming up. Inhale and exhale floating it down. So you are using your entire back, the muscles in the lower back, middle back and upper back to bring you up, to suspend you and to control you down so you're not just falling down out of it. Two more times. Last one, big breath. Very good. Now, to finish off, we're just going to hold a plank from our forearms. Okay, so we're doing all of that back work, but we can't forget about our front core as well. So tuck your toes under, lift yourself up, and deep breaths in and out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Six breaths. Three. Four. Two breaths. Last breath. And rest to those knees, stretch the arms forward, take two huge breaths here. And roll all the way up. Okay, excellent work. I'm sure that your back feels much more awake. I promise if you do this sequence three times a week, or even if you can fit it in once a week, even if you can do it once a while, once in a while, you'll feel those back muscles progressively get stronger and stronger. Please make sure that you like this video, comment and let us know what other videos you want to see from us and share it so that all of your friends can do this wonderful work with us. Okay, have a great day.